I'm looking for a perfect system. The truth is that you will never see a perfect system. God placed you there for a purpose. Contribute to your own quarter and don't be part of those who compare ministry or who condemn ministry. That is not your calling and that is not my calling. I'm excited to welcome you to Tunde Fumi YouTube channel. We ask that you please subscribe to our channel for inspirational songs, powerful messages, and content that will bless you. Please do subscribe and you will never remain the same again. A blessing. My church denomination and Christian growth. What can I share on that? You see, first Timothy chapter one verse where we say, and I thank God, and I thank Christ Jesus our Lord, who enabled me for that he counted me faithful and putting me into the ministry. You see, God placed me in a ministry. And the ministry that God placed me in, it was the same ministry I got saved, the deeper Christian life ministry. And all a lot of people were used for me in raising me, in training me, in teaching me, in, in tutoring me in the way of God. And by the grace of God, one of them is my father in the Lord, Pastor Double of Kumi. And I, I can also recommend his ministry for you. You can gain and be blessed through his ministry. And most parts of my growth has been through the teachings of the ministry, all leaders and members that have had the opportunity to meet. Now, the lessons from this is this. Number one, I got saved and I grew under the instrumentality of the Deeper Life Bible Church. Just like any other person could be saved and grow in the Lord through any other ministry. It's not as if it's only Deeper Life that's the path to heaven. Not at all. Jesus is the way. Any ministry can be used to raise you and groom you in the Lord. But make sure you attend a truly Bible-believing church. Now, somebody say, but I heard us that I see that there are some mistakes there. There are some where there, there are no perfect system among men. Every church has its sort of uh, traditions or its sort of extreme or its sort of things that maybe by structural way, if you look compare with scripture, you may see something that may not be too correct by your conviction. But that doesn't mean without start fighting church and say, I'm looking for a perfect system. The truth is that you will never see a perfect system. God placed you there for a purpose. Contribute to your own quarter and don't be part of those who compare ministry or who condemn ministry. That is not your calling and that is not my calling. Number two lesson to learn from the church I grew in is this. I could have been saved to other ministries just like you two could have been saved to other ministries. But wherever you are saved, God has a purpose. And the purpose of God is that now that you are saved and you have been raised and you have been grown, don't become one of those that maybe you have other ministries later, you got a calling, you now became somebody who now start criticizing where you were saved. You now start judging and either by your parties or by your life or by your preaching. You now became the, the antagonist of that place where God saved you. Now for the fact that God saved you there, he has a purpose. Except if that church is going to outright sin that may be spoken against and you, you may even take more time to preach. I mean, so pray about this rather than preach or condemn openly. You don't take your parents to the open market to begin to make a mess of what they have done. That's not a good thing for a Christian. Jesus only, Jesus only, and uh, Jesus save oh. Jesus all in all we sing Savior sanctify Oh.